Hi, I'm John Holden. And I'm Andrea Ocampo. Welcome to Earth. Our next story takes us here to a scenic overlook of Georgia. You know, almost anywhere you go on this good earth, whether it's a large city like you see in the distance of Atlanta, two small communities like this one, the nearby town of Villa Rica, Georgia. Everywhere you look, you're gonna find this plastic packaging. And when you think about it, plastic does pose some environmental challenges, but today, Flexible packaging is having a positive influence on our environment, as you're about to see. Plastic packaging is kind of a modern miracle. It keeps medical supplies sterile, keeps our food fresh and accessible no matter where you are, and protects sensitive products from damage. It's hard to imagine life without packaging. But even though it's essential to our everyday lives, packaging poses some environmental challenges, mainly what it's made from and where it winds up after we consume or use the product it packaged. The Environmental Protection Agency estimates that plastic, not just packaging, has grown to make up 18% of all items in landfills, while only being recycled at a rate of 9%. One sustainable solution lies in packaging design, specifically flexible packaging. That is the thing that's changed the most probably over the last five to ten years is the consumer demand for the flexible packaging industry or all packaging to really change their products to be more sustainable. The Flexible Packaging Association defines flexible packaging as a package or container made of flexible or easily yielding materials that when filled or closed, can be readily changed in shape. It requires far fewer resources to manufacture than other packaging formats. While flexible packaging only makes up 1-2% to 2 of what goes into landfills today, PrintPak wants to do its part to drive that percentage to zero. One company, Atlanta-based PrintPak, is ahead of the curve in reimagining this entire industry. Sustainability is a fairly natural concept for us to get our minds around. It wasn't called sustainability 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 years ago, but that's kind of what we're very much about, treating people the right way, doing the right thing, uh, and about making lives better. Nobody wants plastics or cardboard or metal or glass or any kind of waste in the environment. I think it's kind of a two-pronged approach. Can we develop better materials, more sustainable materials, that are more easily recaptured, reused, recycled, reconstituted. At the same time, can we work with the, the broader issue of recycling? Working with its industry partners, PrintPak is working to design better solutions for packaging to virtually eliminate those environmental impacts. And flexible packaging offers a number of sustainability benefits. Flexible really is a very thin film, a couple of mils, typically. It is super tough, so you get the protection benefit. It keeps out a lot of elements like oxygen and moisture. It's really very good at protecting the product, while at the same time it minimizes a lot of resources, such as plastic. A roll of our film has hundreds of thousands of potentially different packages and can sometimes take you know, 15, 17 trucks off the road, depending on you know, what, it, what its um, rigid packaging uh, competitor might be. So, so we need packaging, we need flexible packaging. But none of these solutions would be possible without PrintPak's constant research and development underway in sustainable packaging. And this is where a lot of it starts, right here in, the, in these labs, where we're trying to understand the characteristics of the materials we're using, and then use, un, once we understand those characteristics, helping develop new packaging for the future. So ultimately, we're trying to evolve from today and continue to make products that are more recyclable, potentially compostable, and or biodegradable. And those are really the three tenets of our sustainability strategy. And our part is to continue to evolve to make sure that we are providing 
the most fundamentally sound packaging that's good for the products and also good for the planet. It's critically important, right? If we've determined that as society, we're not gonna homestead, we're gonna need packaging. We think flexible packaging is the packaging of the future. We have to redesign it to be more sustainable. You know, the long-term vision for print packages will be part of that solution. And I think if, we, if we're part of that solution, we'll be here for, you know, the next 65 years. Now, as you can see, a lot of things being done today are creating a more sustainable future, including plastic packaging. But you know, you and I also have to do our part. Sure, you can enjoy the food, but also know how to dispose of it properly. I'm John Holden. Thanks for watching.